we're going to describe a public facility that has been renovated and improved. We're going to talk about what the facility is, when it was renovated and improved, what has been renovated and improved, and finally explain how you feel about it. Okay, so the public facility that I would like to talk about is this local museum. It is a relatively small museum and it's been around for a very long time. I think it was in a desperate need of renovation. And luckily the museum was renovated about a year ago, I would say, and the renovation took quite a long time. I would say probably more than half a year. And in terms of what was renovated and improved, well, the museum looked fresh both inside and out. On the inside of the museum, the entire layout was different. They designed it in a very intuitive way, and it is a lot easier for people to get around the museum now comparing to the past. And one of my favorite renovation was the bathrooms. In the past, the bathrooms were very dirty, and you really have to hold it in while you're visiting the museum. But now they have installed new toilets, new sinks, and a new everything, so now you don't have to hold it in anymore. On top of that, I guess the outside also got a really big update. First of all, they cleaned out the whole exterior, like the walls, the windows, and everything like that. So the museum doesn't really look like an abandoned building anymore. Other than that, I would say that they did something with the landscape as well. To be honest, I don't really know exactly what they did, but I could tell that there's definitely more like greenery, vegetations, and natural sceneries around. And finally, I would definitely say that I feel overall quite positive about the changes. I'm really happy that now we can visit the museum and, you know, see all the positive changes and we don't really have to suffer when we go to the toilets anymore. But I have to say that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I mean, the renovation took a very long time and I'm sure that it's not, you know, cheap. I, I think that maybe it would be better if they could take it advantage of the money and improve on the contents of the museum rather than the look of it. But I can't complain. I mean, a, <laughs> some improvement is, is still good. So yeah, I, I still feel pretty positive about it and I can't wait for more people to go visit the new museum. Well, a public facility that has been rebuilt, that must be a shopping mall, which is nearby my neighborhood. You know, um, when I first worked in this area, it was there, but, but nowadays it has been changed totally. Uh, one day when I wanted to buy something uh, from another place, when I passed, passed by this area, I noticed it was changed. Yeah, you know, as for how I feel about it, you know, um, first I think it has been changed. It has been advanced totally because it is cheerful wall contains a very big and high definition viewing screen. When you pass by this area, this, this shopping mall, you can enjoy some luxury brands. Yeah, some, some luxury ads. Um, and uh, the other uh, the other side of walls uh, just are made by, made of the glasses, which makes it very unique and, uh, and uh, extravagant. Um, besides, I think, um, you know, uh, it just provides multiple um, commodities and some luxury brands. So uh, when you step into this shopping mall, you can choose whatever you want. You can buy whatever you choose. Yeah, um, but I think it's a little bit expensive for the students. Some some students cannot afford it. Yeah. Um, also, there is a problem. You know, um, it, the road is a little bit narrow, so uh, it is always congested in this area, um, especially on weekends. Uh, when I am sleeping, you know, some car drivers will just honk the horns. Uh, yeah, honk the horns. Yeah, it's very noisy. I'm going to talk about a library in my neighborhood, which is one of my favorite places to read and study because I find it more productive to study in the library rather than at home. And last month, it was closed for around two weeks due to renovation. And it just reopened a few days 
after New Year holiday. So I've noticed some great improvements. For example, all the walls have been painted a new color, and also all the hard chairs have been replaced by the cushioned ones. But what I like most about the improvement is the reservation service, which allows people to reserve a seat online in advance. And you know, this service wasn't available in the past. As for how I felt about it, I was really excited about the renovation because I go to this library very often. So, you know, it's just nice to see that it has become more advanced. And uh, I also think that it's really essential to maintain and upgrade the existing public facilities regularly so that they can remain functional and provide better services to the Okay, one notable public facility in my city that has undergone significant renovation is People's Park. The park is a popular spot for both locals and tourists and was renovated quite recently. I believe it was completed around 2023. People's Park was already a charming place, known for its greenery and relaxing atmosphere. However, the renovation took it to next level. They upgraded their walking paths, making them more accessible, especially for people with disabilities. The playground area for children was also completely improved with safer and much modern equipment. Additionally, they add more benches and installed new energy-efficient lighting throughout the park. I feel quite positive about these changes. The renovation has not only enhanced the beauty of the park, but also make it a more inclusive space. It's great to see the city investing in such projects that improve the quality of life for its residents and also attract tourists. The park now serves as a perfect escape from the busy city life and offer a peaceful place in the heart of the city. There's this local community center right in my neighborhood that got a major makeover about two years back. They really went all out to make the place look and function better. This spot is like the heart of the neighborhood where all sorts of activities go down, from fitness classes and cultural events to just hanging out. They touched up both the inside and outside of the building. On the outside, they slapped on some new paint spruced up the greenery, and even made the parking lot bigger to fit more cars. Inside, they really modernized the place by updating the meeting rooms, throwing in some top-notch audio-visual gear, and giving the gym a whole new look. But they didn't stop at just making it look good. They also added some eco-friendly touches like solar panels, showing they're serious about keeping things green. Plus, they rolled out a bunch of new programs and classes to draw in even more folks from the community, covering a wider mix of interests and ages. Honestly, I'm all for the changes they've made. The facelift has made the center way more welcoming, and the inside feels just right for all kinds of gatherings and activities. It's awesome to see them committing to being eco-friendly too. It really speaks to what our community is about. With all the new stuff happening there, it's really brought people together, making the community vibe stronger than ever. This revamped center is now the go-to place, sparking more participation and making our neighborhood feel more connected. All in all, these upgrades have done wonders, not just for the building itself, but for bringing everyone in the community closer.